Hey guys, iOS Pro here and today, Apple has released iOS 15 Beta 5 to all developers today. Get about 982 megabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. On my iPhone 12 Pro Max, I installed it. Bill number is 19A5318F, and there are about seven changes I found in this update today. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to point something out that you guys may have not seen from my last video. So some of you guys may remember me talking about the boxes around the send button in mail and the box around the cancel button in messages. But some of you guys complained in the comments from the last video that you couldn't see it. Well, that's because I forgot to mention, if you go to accessibility, go to display and text size, the button shapes option has to be turned on in order to see it. See, if I turn it off, then go back to mail, See, the, bo the box is now gone. But when I go back and turn it back on, the box is now back. So you have to have button shapes turned on in accessibility to see the boxes around the send button in mail and the cancel button around in messages. Okay, so back to the video. When you go over to your next app page, look at the weather app, you will notice that to the brand new icon. See on beta 4 on the left, we have this old icon of the iOS 7, but now we have this brand new transparent icon in iOS 15 beta 5. So in settings, we go to accessibility, scroll down towards the sound recognition, you'll notice that there's a brand new icon for sound recognition. Previously in iOS 14, up to now, we had this little icon, but now we have this brand new icon in beta 5. In the home app, you'll notice a brand new splash screen for what's new in home, like home keys, Siri enabled accessories, and home key secure video. So brand new splash screen for the home app. In the Apple TV app, you'll notice that there's a brand new splash screen for what's new in Apple TV, like Apple's original the Apple TV channel, so brand new splash screen for Apple TV. In podcasts, you'll notice a brand new splash screen, and it says, what's new in Apple Podcasts? And the new feature is shared with you. Find podcasts shared by your friends and messages on Listen Now. So this is very similar to the other feature I talked about in Apple News for shared with you. Like if someone sends you an Apple link in messages, it'll appear right in, in the news app for a share with you. Same with Safari, when you go to start a new page, Siri will suggest a, like different articles people sent you or different links. That's basically what this is for podcasts. In photos, you'll get this brand new splash screen for what's new in photos with iOS 15 for share with you, memories, and richer info. So I've been using the richer info option when I go on my hikes. So when I, when I skate, took a photo of a plant or an animal, it will give me a little button with an icon for a paw print for pets and a leaf icon for plants. So when I, when I click the option, say like find more about this kind of plant or animal species, it gave me the right info. So I've been using this option a lot. So richer info is a really nice option. So brand new splash screen and photos. In settings, when you go to accessibility, go to voiceover, scroll down to quick settings, you'll notice a ton of new options. Previously we had only eight. Now we have all these other options now. In settings, we go to general, go down to language and region, there's a brand new option for live text. It says select text and images to copy or take action. So now you can turn it off right from here. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the video. Peace out.